You get a tripod. 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 Holy tripod. Tyler, let's talk tripods. Guys, what's up? Big D and Ty little Tyler in the house. Uh, that's a joke. We are doing the thoroughest review on the tripods that we have available. We want to show you those today and stick around to the very end of the video. We have a little special giveaway for you for supporting our channel. Here we go. Clean this setup for you, but what you're going to learn is we're going to go over a couple options from Vortex. We're going to go over a couple options from Black Elvis and a sleeper, Asiac. We're going to break it down. Come along. All right. What's up, everybody? Today we're going to talk about tripods. We've got lots of them sitting out here. Going to go over primarily what we would use uh, for backcountry hunting. A couple things to look for in tripods for backcountry is one, lightweight, two, able to hold up our spotters, whether it's a, a bigger one, a smaller one, whatever. Also, you want to be able to swap between spotter, spotting scopes, and binoculars, camera, all of it. All of these that we have today all have the Arca Swiss mounting plates. All right, we're gonna go through each one of them individually, tell you what we like, what we don't like. Start with, we're gonna go with Black Ovis. This is the Alpine Pro Carbon. This is a very lightweight, but it's small, compact. The height on this is only 32 inches. Um, it's very similar to the tree line. The difference being this Alpine Pro on one leg has an extra section. The idea behind that extra section is if you're sitting on a slope, you can kick that leg down a little taller than your back two legs to level up your tripod. The tree line does not have that. It's the exact same on all three sides. Only goes up to 32 inches. For a guy that's six foot two, sitting down with the 32 inch tripod is not quite tall enough for me. So I'm not going to be using that for glassing purposes. Where I would use these tripods would be for either a secondary camera or if I'm taking a tripod to the gun range, setting it up on a bench or a table works perfect. But for me, a taller guy, uh, just not enough height, even sitting down to utilize it well. And then also most of the slopes that I sit on to glass, this, this little extra amount that that comes out, it's not going to be long enough to actually get the tripod level for most of the slopes that I'm sitting on. And the other thing in the backcountry, I like to get comfortable to sit down in glass. A lot of times I'll find a log to sit on, a rock to sit on, and so I need a little bit taller tripod. I do really like the head on it. The handle, you can undo this and it folds down nicely for stowing in your backpack and then pops up pretty quick. Yeah. Tighten this down and you got your handle. The other thing I like about this head is it's got one lock for tilt up and down and then another lock for pan. I really like that you can adjust them independently so that set my tilt and then pan back and forth. Pan feature is very smooth on these. Um, I took a video with my camera sitting on it, panning. It's pretty smooth, not, not a lot of jerking to it. All of these tripods we're looking at have this feature where you can adjust the legs out get your tripod exactly level however you like it. So they all do that. The Alpine Pro has a little bit different head on it. It does um, pan and tilt independently. Here's the pan knob that locks it in place. For the tilt on this one, it's the handle. This you unscrew the handle a little bit and then it loosens up your tilt. You can lock it in. Uh, loosen up your pan, do your gridding. When you're going to collapse this down to store it in your backpack, you just have to tilt this all the way down to get the handle out of the way. All right, these are your budget-friendly tripods from Black Ovis. 
These are uh, carbon fiber and they're probably the best bang for your buck for a carbon fiber tripod you can get. Be sure when you go to Black Ovis, use the discount code OAKSHAPE, all one word, knocks 10% off and you get free shipping. We're gonna look at a couple of the tripod options from Vortex Optics. This one is the Summit Carbon 2. I'm gonna be using this one uh, this year as my backcountry backpacking tripod. Um, it's uh, lightweight. It's got the Arca Swiss plate, so it'll integrate with all of my optics, camera, everything. Everything gets loosened with the handle. So uh, you have the pan and the tilt all with one handle. The tighter you do it, the, the more stable it gets. A little bit loose, Loosens up the pan so you can pan back and forth as you're gritting. Turn it a little bit more and that loosens up your tilt. So you tilt where you want, tighten down halfway, pan, tighten down all the way um, for getting your MagView videos uh, for your socials. This is a, a great tripod, super lightweight. Um, I've actually been running the older version of this tripod for many years and it's, it works great. Um, you have the center pull adjust here and then your legs, there's a little clicky. Move it to where you want it. Locker in place. There you go. One of the reasons I'm using this one for my backcountry is I'm 6'2", so it doesn't go tall enough for me to just stand in glass, but it'll go tall enough that I can sit on a chair or a rock, and it'll stand up tall enough that I can glass comfortably. It doesn't matter which way I have it sitting, I can kick the downhill leg out farther, because it always seems like I'm glassing on a steep hill. You want that downhill leg sitting out down farther so you can level up your tripod so you can grid effectively with your glassing. That is the Vortex Summit Carbon 2. All right, this is the bigger brother to the Summit Carbon. This is the Vortex Ridgeview Carbon. This one um, is much taller. It'll go taller than I need it for standing and glassing if, I, if that's what I wanna do. Has all the exact same features of the Summit, but it's in a bigger version longer legs and heavier. It also comes in a uh, aluminum version, which is this one. The only difference between the aluminum and the carbon is the carbon has twist lock legs where the aluminum has flip lock legs. Otherwise they're identical. Asiac! Last but not least is the Asiac. So this is what I'm gonna be running this year. It doesn't weigh hardly anything. It's very packable. Uh, height wise, not a concern for me, Tyler. I can make any of the tripods in this video work. So let's say if you're 5'7 or 6'2, that is a concern as far as height goes. Um, but it packs away, it's super nice. You can adjust the height, the angles, everything we've talked about. It's got so when you're running downhill, which is why you glass from an advantage, you're higher than everything. You'll run like that, level it out, no problem. Easy to pack and put away. I'm not sure if Black Ovis carries this, but I'm gonna damn sure try to make sure that they do because I think it's a great option. I've also ran mostly Vortex tripods and they're all bulletproof. That's what I use this year, bear hunting. Um, you can adjust this really tall, which is mm -hmm. something that I like a lot. And then the tilt and the pan are super easy to adjust. You're gonna loosen, you can pan. The tilt is kind of a ball head. You're here, and when you buy this tripod, it comes with an extra one of these, which is super nice. One thing that Asiac does really well is they have this little bino attachment. So all I did is I put it around, got the right thread, got it in. These are 12 by 50s. You can see it already comes with the Arca Swiss, so you can set your binos directly in. If you don't, if maybe you lost your plate, I'm gonna tighten that in and I'm gonna tilt that down, and then I am glassing whatever I want. Ooh, there's a giant bull. I'm going to digiscope him with the mag view, throw this on, and I don't, basically I'm not even running the plate that comes with it. I probably keep my plate on my 
camera mm -hmm. so everything is integrated in and out grab the scale Tyler just for shits and giggles let's see what all this weighs for my glassing setup oh my gosh six so right at exactly. six pounds for a dual everything. threat and be able to ma and that's with the mag view case on and everything so that's what I'm running so I'd say if you're not really worried about a budget and you just want the best you want to buy once cry once i would go with this asiac and get some of the doodads check it out cool little gizmo from asiac uh this is a garmin adapter so this guy goes on to your pack somewhere um you take these this is the original what comes with your garmin pop that off just like that Wherever this is attached to, will slide in, clicks in place, not going to lose it. And, oh, is that how it works? I would assume so because that's the only way that this thing is going to fit on anything. Okay. Um, so, if you want to go super, super lightweight, but you still want something to attach your binoculars to, to glass off of, and have... A little bit of stability you can do just that and this will actually screw into here that's pretty slick man boom plus it has a little ball, ball head ball head leveling wow I think you're gonna need to use that a whole lot because you're just gonna set her up there and glass away that's actually pretty slick and as advertised guys we want you to make sure you like this video you have made a comment and you are subscribed to the channel. We are going to pick a lucky winner and we're going to send you this Black Ovis. Treeline Aluminum from Black Ovis. Thank you guys. We're going to send this to whoever. We will announce the winner only on video. We will not send you a message or a scammy anything. So that ain't us. And uh, we'll announce it in a couple of videos down the road. We'll pick a winner. We'll get your address. We'll ship this to you just in time for the season. We appreciate your support. Remember, we have a discount code at Black Ovis. It's Elk Shape Gear, all one word. That'll knock 10% off, and they offer free shipping. Tripods, man. Glassing. See more animals. Have more opportunities. We appreciate your support. We'll catch you on the next one.